This tutorial focuses on how to set up Clasac software to work with the Octopus Newsroom. Although we will be focusing on this particular Newsroom computer system, bear in mind that Clasac's products are compatible with the MUS protocol as a whole and can therefore be used with any Newsroom system implementing it. For this demo, we will be using a virtual machine provided by Octopus Newsroom, which comes with the Octopus client and server software pre-installed. When the user interface is ready, we can move on and set up the Octopus client in order to be compliant with the Classics MOS API. First of all, go to the MOS Devices section in the left panel. Here you need to add a new device using the new button on the top panel. However, we already have our device configuration, so I will just be going through this device settings. Starting from the basic tab, make sure you enter the correct values for MUS ID, which is Classx MUS HTML5, and for NCS ID, which is Octopus. Next, we will need to tell the Octopus client the connection parameters to be used to reach the machine we will be using to run the required Classic software. In our case, both the media host running the Classic MOS server app software and the rundown host running the Classic MOS gateway app are the same machine. The communication ports are not, of course, the same as you can see. Next, insert the Octopus Media port and the Octopus Rundown port accordingly to the values you previously inserted for the Media and Rundown host ports. Actually, these are quite standard parameters and unless you have other conflicting software using the same ports, you can leave the default values. Move to the Stories tab and check the Send Empty Stories option. The remaining tabs are quite standard ones and we do not need to edit anything except for the Plugins tab. In the Plugins tab, you need to add the Classics ActiveX plugin. As for the device connection parameters, we already have the plugin configured, so let's have a look inside to see how you need to set it up. Please make sure you add a new plugin with the exact parameters you can see in this window. Changing these parameters will break the communication between the Octopus Newsroom system and the Classics software. It is important to set the implementation parameter typing the correct IP address and path where the MUS HTML5 plugin is installed. 
Once you've finished configuring the ClassX plugin, just press OK to save it. Once you've finished configuring also the mask device, just press OK again to save it. Just to check everything was done correctly, go to the Activations tab, which you can find in the left panel right below the Devices tab that we used previously. Here you should see the MOS device you just inserted. If you select it, you will see on the box on the right the currently active rundowns for this MOS device. Right now, of course, there are none. We will come back to the MOS client server software later. We can now move on and start the ClassX software called LifeBoard SCG, required to play out MOS graphic content using Octopus Newsroom Computer System. First of all, let's start LifeBoard SCG. There are no particular parameters which need to be set here. The default ones will be fine in most cases. However, take your time and check the MISC preferences of Stealth CG and make sure you have the correct values for the communication port and the event port. Additionally, also check your video and audio preferences just to make sure they are the correct ones for your use. Next, let's see the MOS Gateway app. Here, the first tab which opens up is the Rundowns tab. In this tab, you will later be able to see the rundowns you configured using the Octopus client, the stories for each rundown and the graphic contents associated with each story. In the bottom left corner, you can see the button you will have to use to connect to the Octopus client. The tab on the right is the connections one. In this tab there are two main groups, the NCS connections which appear automatically and where there is no configuration needed and the graphics channels. Here you need to add a graphic channel. To do so, right click in this area and choose add channel from the drop down menu. We can now move on and go to the Preferences window. From the top status bar, choose Preferences and Gateway. Here, first we need to set up the connection parameters required to connect to the NCS using the MOS protocol. As hostname, we are using the hostname of our virtual machine. You need to insert the IP address of the machine running your NCS. Upper port and lower port must have the same values we inserted when we set up our MOS device in the Octopus client. The same applies for the NCS ID and MOS ID which must have the same value used in the Octopus client setup. Additionally, you can enable the MySQL log. In this case, to choose to do so, remember to insert the correct values for hostname, port, username, password and the database name. Once done, the MOS Gateway app is ready and we can now move on and start up the last application we will be using for this demo, the MOS Server app. This application is the very simple and only provides a console where you can read the logs regarding the operations being executed. Let's move on to the Preferences window to set up the MOS Server app. From the top menu bar, choose Preferences MISC. In the first section, you need to insert the base path where the Castalia CG, More CG, Coral CG templates and the shared resources can be found. These templates will be used by your NCS, as we will see later. Last but not least, the remote communication port, the default value is fine. You only have to make sure to use the same port both here and on the protocol server setup window. Just click OK to save your preferences. Now it is the turn of the protocol server app. 
The user interface is simple and it has two consoles for showing the interchange messages between the external applications, in this case it will be the MOSS HTML5 plugin, and the MOSS server app. Let's move on to the Preferences window to set up the Protocol Server app. From the top menu bar, choose Preferences Protocol Server. In the first section, you need to insert the web server port number and the home directory path. Next, the Protocol session allows to set up the connection parameters with the MOSS Server app and, in this case, the server runs in the same workstation. Just click OK to save your preferences. We now have all our applications set up and ready. We will now see how to prepare a story in an Octopus Rundown and play it using Classic Moss Gateway app and the Liveboard SCG. For the rest of this tutorial, this will be the disposition of our two displays. On the first display, we have the Moss Gateway application, the Moss server and the Stealth CG applications for Liveboard. On the second display, we have Liveboard SCG, where we will play out our contents and the virtual machine running the Octopus client. Once everything is set up, make sure you have this initial state. In the Moss Gateway application, the Connections tab, you should be seeing the connected status for the Graphic Channel 1. In the Stealth CG app, you should have three active connections. On the other hand, in the Octopus client devices, you should have the Classics Moss HTML5 device with connection status in red saying no. If you have this initial condition, then we are ready to proceed. Let's start by connecting the Moss gateway to the Octopus NCS. Once the connection is done, in the Connections tab of the Moss gateway applications, you should see the connected status for the four connections in the NCS connections group. On the other hand, the Octopus Client Devices section, the connection status for the Classics MOS HTML5 device is now changed to green, saying yes. We now need to prepare our rundown in the Octopus Client. From the left column menu, navigate to Show Playlist. Here you should have the default playlist available in the Octopus Client. We will be using the Evening News event for our tutorial. Right-click on this event and choose Rundown from the drop-down menu. Once here, we need to set up the stories for the currently selected Rundown. We will set up just one story to be used for this demo. The second one is in the list. Double-click it to enter the setup window for the selected story. Once here, choose Edit from the top menu bar. As you can see, all fields are now editable. First of all, we need to insert in the script a new MOS object. Right-click on the script where you want the MOS object to be inserted and choose New. Create using Classics HTML5. On this new window, you should see the Directories list window on the available templates. At the top left of the window, there is a chooser for selecting the preferred graphic template folder created with Castalia CG, More CG or Coral CG. We will be using a demo template which can be found in Castalia CG Project IBC 2017. Click it to open it. Once you selected the desired template, you need to set it up properly. We will type in the title, the description and select a picture for this news. Keep in mind that you can have an animated preview for the template using the scroll bar under the preview window or by playing it using the dedicated button. Once you're done, insert the item channel and set the trigger method to manual. After that, just save the template by using the Save Template button. You should now have your mass object set up and insert it in the script. Remember to check Script Ready, Media Ready and Approved. You can now click the Save button which will save the template settings and take us back to the previous window.
In the rundown list, you should now see the letter R as ready in the status column for the story we just finished setting up. Now we use the top menu bar and go to Mass Toggle Ready. Choose Yes in the pop-up message and this should set the status to Ready to Air. Next, go again to the top bar under Mass Activate. Check the GFX HTML5 device and press the button Resend. Choose Yes in the confirmation message and then click OK to close the mass activation window. If everything went as expected, moving now to the Moss Gateway application in the Rundowns tab, you should see the rundown we just finished setting up in the Octopus client. Select the Headlines rundown and the Stories list will be loaded. Among all the available stories, we prepared the second one. If you select this story, you will see one item appear in the Items table. If you now select this item, you will see the graphics metadata, the information regarding the template we previously inserted using the Octopus client. Just to make sure everything went accordingly to plans in the Stealth CG, you will have a new content in the Contents grid. This means the template was correctly prepared and is now ready to be played out using Liveboard. To do so, we just need to go to the Items table in the Mask Gateway, right-click the item and choose Play. Now, on the LiveBoard main output panel, you will see your template on air with all the data that you have set up in your Octopus NCS. Thank you for watching the Classics Moss tutorial.